Meu Deus, vocês vão me louco da cabeça! Solta a farinha, solta! Segura, foca, amor, foca, vou ficar bonito! Para, amor! Foca, amor! Farinha, solta! Handling an anaconda of this size is definitely not recommended. Ready? Go! I can't even tell who's winning here. This is for the Donkey Kong Show. I'm here to inform you that I'm entering your pathetic little dance contest. In this corner, we have our aquatic reptile with jaws of steel, alligator. Is it actually crocodile? And in this corner, we have the slimy and scheming, ever squeezing anaconda. Now I want a fair fight between you two. Ready, go. And the snake is leaving. Failure. Okay, winner goes to Crocodile! Or is it Alligator? King K. Rool wins! Bet you didn't know that anacondas give their prey heart attacks kill them. Anacondas use their jaw to capture their prey, then slowly suffocate it with their muscular bodies before swallowing them whole. They'd actually fit in the world of Johnny Bravo. Welcome to the island of beautiful men. I can already tell you're going to feel right at home here. Hey, I got one for you. Why did the snake cross the road? Have you ever heard about this chicken? So how do snakes move with no legs? Well, they use their massive muscles to push their scales against the ground. Imagine flexing your way across the street. Not a sentence I thought I would say today. Enough about snakes. I'm sick of snakes. We need a snake's natural enemy, the mongoose. Go and get him, Timon. Wow! If you're hungry for a hunk of fat and juicy meat, eat my buddy Pumper here because he has a treat. All right, for real this time. Mongooses, mongeese, have a glycoprotein that essentially neutralizes snake venom so they won't get sick and die from it. This plus their strong jaws and agile bodies mean that they don't really need to fear a cobra, but rather take it down like David and Goliath. 